Hi. So we have a problem over here which we need to solve and this particular problem we are going to solve it in three ways. First is very systematic way and in second we will learn a shortcut and in third method we are going to solve it using fractions. So let's first read the problem statement. Problem statement says after spending 50% of his salary and giving away 20% of remaining to a charity, a man is left with 600. Find his income. So we have to find the income of a person whose saving is 600 after spending 50% and 20% of the remaining he gives away to a charity. So let's assume that his salary is, let the salary be X. He spends 50%, right? So his expenditures will be X multiplied by 50 by 100. That will be equal to 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. X by 2. Half of his salary he is spending. So remaining will be X minus X by 2. Right? Because we are assuming that his salary is X. And this will be equal to 2X minus X by 2. That is X by 2. Right? So this is salary remaining after expenses. And what he does after this? After this, 20% of remaining, that means 20% of x by 2, he gives to charity. 20% of x by 2 will be 20 by 100 multiplied by x by 2, right? And if I solve it further, this 0 will cancel this 0 and this 2 will cancel this 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 ones. And this will be equal to x by 10. x by 10, he is giving to charity. So, amount left after charity will be x by 2 minus x by 10. Right? And here the LCM will be 10. 2 5s are 10 and 5 multiplied by x gives us 5x minus 10 ones are 10. 1 multiplied by x is x and 5x minus x is 4x by 10. Right? Or if I solve it further, this will be 2 2s are 4, 2 5s are 10. So this is actually 2x by 5. This 2x by 5, which is left even after giving to charity is equal to 600, right? So from here we will get x is equal to 600 multiplied by 5 divided by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6, 0, 0. That is equal to 5 threes are 15 and 2 zeros, 1500, right? So from here we got x is equal to 1500. And what is x? x is the salary which we assumed. Right? See here, we assumed his salary to be x. We have got x is equal to 1500. Right? This is the salary we got using our first method, which is the traditional step by step method. And now we are going to solve the same problem using our second method, which is the shortcut method. Right? So again, we will assume the salary to be x. So let salary equal to x, right? And first step, he is spending 50% of his salary. And then 20% of remaining he is giving to the charity, right? So when he spends 50% of salary, remaining will be 100 minus 50, that is 50%, right? So after spending, remaining salary will be equal to x multiplied by 50 by 100, right? What is this? This is remaining salary after expenditures. And 20% of this he is giving to charity. So if he gives 20% of this to charity, this leftover will be 100 minus 20, that is 80%. All this you can do mentally when you don't have time, right? So that means leftover is actually 80% of this amount, right? And 80% of that amount will be equal to 80 by 100 
multiplied by x multiplied by 50 by 100. x multiplied by 50 by 100 was the remaining salary after spending 50% and 80% of this will be the salary left over after giving away 20% of remaining to charity, right? This zero will cancel this zero. This zero will cancel this zero. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Two ones are two. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four. Two fives are ten. So this will be equal to two multiplied by x, that is two x by five. And how much this was? This was equal to 600, right? So if this is equal to 600, from here we will get x is equal to 600 multiplied by 5 divided by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6, 0 0, that means x is equal to 3 fives are 15, 100, right? So again using this method we have got x is equal to 1500, yes? Why it is shortcut? Because all these calculations till here, this remaining will be 50% because 50% he is spending, 100 minus 50 is 50. So remaining will be x multiplied by 50 by 100 and 20% of this he is giving to a charity. That means he is left with 80% of this amount, right? So if we find the 80% of this leftover amount, we will find how much he is left with. So what we are doing over here? Here we are finding 80% that is 80 by 100 of x multiplied by 50 by 100 which was remaining after spending 50%. So all these percentage calculation can be done mentally and you will directly arrive to this expression which is equal to 600 because finally he is left with 600, right? And then if we find the value of x, we will get his income right so using this method also you are getting his income is equal to 1500 right and after this we are going to solve the same problem using fractions so let me erase all this to solve it using fractions i'm going to draw a rectangle so here is a rectangle bigger rectangle actually represent his salary and this rectangle i have divided into 10 equal parts right so Let's read the statement step by step and parallelly we will solve it using this fraction, right? So this bigger rectangle represents his salary. After spending 50% of his salary, what will be he left with? So this rectangle is divided into 10 parts and 50% out of 10 parts will be actually half of the rectangle. That means equal to this much. This much he has already spent, right? And now he is left with what? This lower half of the rectangle, right? And what is he doing next? Next, he is giving away 20% of remaining salary, 20% of this portion, the lower portion, which is colored in black, he is giving away as charity. 20% is actually 1 by 5, right? What is 20%? 20% 20 is 20 by 100, right? That is, zeros will cancel each other, 2 ones are 2 and 2 fives are 10. And this will be equal to 1 by 5, right? And this lower part is already divided into 5 parts and 20% of that will be equal to 1 fifth of that portion and 1 fifth will be equal to 1 block, right? So this much he is spending, this red is his monthly expenses, this is expenditure, and this is charity and this is what he is left with. So what is this? What fraction is this of his salary? How can you write it in fraction? This is actually 4 out of 10, right? 4 out of 10 of whole is equal to 600. That means 4 out of 10 of x, if I assume the salary as x, is equal to 600. So, x will be equal to 600 multiplied by 10 divided by 4. 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4, 4 fives are 20 and 0. And this will be equal to 150 multiplied by 10 that is equal to 1500. Right? So, this is how you can solve it using fractions also. 
and sometimes it is very easy if you are asked to find 20% of something you can directly find one fifth of that thing and that will be equal to 20% right because 20% is nothing but 20 by 100 and that finally comes down to 1 by 5 right and similarly if you are asked to find 25% of something this will be equal to 1 by 4 why because 25% is nothing but 25 by 100 25 was a 25 25 four is a 100 right so 25% will be equal to 1 fourth of that number or that value right and this is the only motive of explaining you this problem using fraction right because when you have less time and you know the fractional value of a percentage the calculations become much faster so if you remember this 20 percent is one fifth 25 percent is one fourth and 50 percent is equal to half if you are preparing for a competitive exam i would suggest you to remember the fractional value of percentage right so this was all for today bye bye